This uh, will be the third part of our series on communicating in English. Uh, it will be a short part because we're going to talk about the computer, l'ordinateur, and a lot of the terms in French are very close to the English original. Okay, first of all, we need a computer. We have one. What are the parts of the computer? This is the keyboard, le clavier, with different keys, les touches, the screen, l'écran. Then, to send a message, I must type the message, taper. In English, you can also say to type in which means that you're putting it into your computer. When you're typing, you have several choices. For instance, do you use capital letters, des majuscules, or lowercase letters, bas de casse, and in what mixture? Then you have to choose different typefaces, a registre de caractère, normal, italic, I don't think I need to translate that, bold letters, bold face, les caractères gras, or underlined, souligné. Once you've got your text in and they call you for supper or the telephone rings, you need to save the text, sauvegarder. When you touch a letter or click, cliquer, then you uh, probably have a printer. Mine is hidden down here, but it's here at my feet, so that you can make printouts. Une imprimante qui vous fournit des documents imprimés. If you make a mistake, and you want to get rid of the mistake, you erase the mistake. Then when you go online, let's go online, why not? This is a very interesting website. Uh, it happens to be the one that you're on right now. But this is not publicity. Uh, the teachers uh, on NetProf don't do publicity. Ce n'est pas de la pub, parce que ceux qui font les profs pour NetProf ne font pas de pub. Then, when you're finished, you go offline. En ligne, hors ligne. But since this is NetProf, I don't want to go offline before I show you that I'm a loyal member of NetProf. NetProf, I don't think you need to translate. It's the same, would be the same in English as in French. Pronounce it a little bit differently. NetProf and NetProf. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to communicate a bit in English. Don't hesitate to go to our other courses of practical English. N'hésitez pas à aller visiter les autres cours d'anglais pratique. Bon, j'ai dit que j'allais pas faire de la pub, je viens d'en faire, mais enfin, c'est comme ça. Have a good communication, please.